Welcome to Short Scale Modeling. This is part 17 of the Arche HMS Hood Scale 1 to 200. In this part, I'm going to be uh, putting a little bit more on the uh, decking, uh, all the little bits and pieces, and then I'll be moving on to the um, platform that contains the pom pom gun, as well as uh, making other structural work, work. So let's jump into this. Carrying on where I left off in part 16, I'm uh, build, what I'm building here is the um, compartments that hold the mechanism for the anchor chains. There's two to, to be made up, uh, one smaller than the other. Um, a fairly simple process to build, uh, just a little caps and thing um, on top of the mountain unit. So it's back to the other end of the ship and um, I'm starting to place on more there of the deck furniture. Uh, these are the um, supports, I think, for some of the uh, lifeboats. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what they're for. So I'm just carrying on uh, with the deck, putting in the uh, furniture. Basically what I've done in previous um, videos. So there's no need to go into great detail here. So what's going on is the, the little plates, the more air vents, um, some more uh, uh, ammo boxes, all, all basic stuff that uh, I placed on before that you can see actually on the deck at the moment. Issue 117, uh, this part probably deals with the platform that the aerial mass and command decks are going to be sitting on. So there's a, a little bit of a build uh, to be done here. After cutting up the parts and sanding any little burrs off, um, it's time to assemble. It's a, a simple um, a assemble process on this. Uh, they all link together very well. The, there's uh, two levels that have to build up here. And um, they're, they're again um, secured with um, wood glue. I didn't have to be careful with various of the components because um, some of them look very similar and they only go in one way for uh, construction later on down the line. So I had to be mindful of that. This unit's almost built now, I'm just putting on the um, side panels. I, again, uh, they, they look similar but there is a, a left and right as such. Issue 118 here, that is uh, for the deck and plate uh, for the unit I just built. Um, as you can see, they already um, primed it. Um, th there's a two-tone painting uh, scenario going on here, but it's easy enough to do. So one side I'm using Rebel Apocalypse 74 Gunship Grey for the darker grey. As you can see there, I've put a bit of masking tape over to create my line. So you can see there, however, I did slightly screw up. I should have painted this on the other side. So I'm just going to have to repaint this. So I'm using Rebel up, call it 88 ochre brown, and I'm, I'm just covering all the paintwork up that I've already did. It's no drama, it does happen, I just didn't pay attention, and um, it covers up quite well with this ochre. And the opposite side uh, will be painted just as I painted the two grey colours. Now because the ochres are sort of meant to be a woody colour, um, I, I go over this now with a wash um, sort of colour. And what I'm using here is Life's Colour LPW18 Wood Deck Darkener. And it sort of uh, leaves it as a, a woody effect. Now I'm putting this on quite thinly and I'm totally streaking my brush so it's going to leave brush marks and streak it over the deck. This will give you the, the appearance of wood once it's dried. Now this um, paint is actually for airbrushing. Um, but as you know, if you've watched my videos, I hardly ever airbrush. In fact, I don't think I've ever shown you me airbrushing. Um, I I prefer to to, to um, just uh, normally brush. But these um, airbrush paints, you cannot use them like a wash instead because they're incredibly thin. You know. So as you can see there, it's starting to dry and um, it's uh, streaking a bit to give the appearance of wood. I'm just going over the edges of the unit now with Rebel Aquacolor or 7 Black Gloss. And this will be uh, just for behind the panels when they go on for the portholes uh, and windows. Doesn't necessarily have to be gloss, it's just the black I had at hand. And the next issue I'm dealing with is 119 and this is for the sim deck. Um, 
that I'm building at the moment and this is just for the side panelling of the unit. Again a simple uh, process here, just putting on the panelling as I make up the wall of, of the uh, main base unit. The, these just get wrapped right around the whole um, deck area. Once they're on, I'm just giving a coat of Rebel Aquacolor 43 medium grey. There's two larger panels or walls that have to go on and I'm just placing them on now. So the camera's at a bit of a weird angle at the moment, just so that I can get into uh, placing them. But they, they just go on the angle um, of the base unit, uh, as you can see there. Let me just tip it up a little bit, you might be able to see a bit better. Yeah, there you go. And it's the same for the other side. Just uh, slipping it in now. The fit for this one was actually quite good, which what did surprise me somewhat. Issue 120 Pro only makes up two little boxes. Now these boxes are over engineered in my opinion. If you can see the instructions there, they're, they're just little stuck bits of wood, but um, they, they go at all different weird angles. Um, what they're for, I'm, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. I think they're part of the aerial system, but um, I won't know until later on down to build. But once I'm made up, I painted them again in black, and um, like the other unit, I'm just uh, placing on four parts of photo etch uh, to finish off the, um, the the little boxes. There are some sort of command module um, area type thing, I, I'm not 100% sure, but they have windows and they have doors, so, yeah, you know, um, the instructions don't tell you where they're going to go at this point, and I haven't uh, dived too deeply into the instructions uh, to find out. Issue 122, this is for um, the pom pom platform that I'll be making up, uh, as well as the um, the unit that is for the searchlights and uh, little guns and, and so forth. So first of all, I'm using the 43 medium grey, uh, to paint the pom pom, then the, the base is a uh, 47 gunship glue. Well, the uh, actual um, main platform part here. And while that's drying, I'm just going on to the uh, main unit. Uh, it's a quite quite simple construction for the searchlight tower. There, there's a, a, a couple of rotating um, areas that I put on. They, they are not designed to rotate on the model, uh, they're in fixed positions. But once they're on, I'll just close them up and then give them a, a, a paint of the 43 medium grey. So before I get right into this unit, I think I'll, I'll stop the, the video here and carry on with it in part 18. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other videos or indeed for this build. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be updated of my all my future builds, including this one of course. Hit that like button and of course leave a comment but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye